Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today, our topic will be being a Christian rapper. Part two, they're going to be interviewing two Christian rappers coming out of the street of Guyana. And I'll be asking three questions to better understand what it's like being a Christian rapper and to educate the young Christians that are aspiring to become rappers. Now we're going into our fourth question for today. Fourth question is, what is it like being a Christian rapper? Well, um, being a Christian rapper, for me, for me, it's... It's 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 a great feeling, right? First of all, it's a great feeling. But is it a great experience? Um, not always, right? Uh, I'm also an overthinker and I'm also introverted in some ways, right? Well, a lot of ways actually. I might converse very well, but it burns. It burns me a lot, you know. Like the energy that I have, it burns a lot, right? And you get to see how I really am when we are in the same space for a long time, right? So as a Christian artist, sometimes it's hard to like be out, you know, doing, doing concerts and these things for me. But I've gotten better at it over the years. But, you know, uh, we see, we see um, Corona occurred last year. So I've just been in the studio, my comfort place, just working on music and being able to put it out consistently so that's that's easy but when i had to come out with speaking people speaking to people uh, and and doing it on a stage of that matter it, it's a little challenging right but um but i i, I i'm good at there's a crazy thing right i'm introverted but i'm also very good at conversing with people and relating to people and speaking in front of a crowd, which is crazy. And um, but yeah, the hardest thing is the energy. I have to constantly refuel and I have to constantly prevent myself from overthinking or getting nervous. Right. Me and DC, uh, we were a part of a group some time back, and <laughs> enough time DC would be like, yo, relax, you got this, right? <laughs> But um, I learned a lot, right? And and that's that's probably the, the like the little thing about the Christian rap thing. But aside from that, um, being a Christian rapper is is like a dream come true for me. But the hardest part of that dream is that I don't get to do it as much as I want to, like full time. You know, there's 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 an aim that I would like to get to one day where. I have things in place of where I can make money and, and, and be involved in music and ministry, like, like full time. So the hard, like, like being, being a Christian rapper, it's hard to um, keep that at the back of my head that eventually, you know, I have to wait until I get there. Cause sometimes you just want to like immerse yourself because you know, there's so much more that you can do lyrically there's so much more that you can do if you just have the time to put into your to your music so that also haunts me as an artist that that sometimes can come across as a perfectionist and the crazy thing about it the deeper you go the more you want it to be great you know the, the more you learn musically or sometimes the more you learn theologically as well the the, the better you want to to, to, to like um, put over your message and all of these things. But the time just isn't, isn't there all of the time, you know, if I'm to be honest. But this is the most exciting aspect of my life because I'm like, like I, I could do music every day, right? I could do music every day. I could write, I could write a sermon every other day and I could look forward to touring and doing videos because I also like to do videos and make videos but uh it's a great feeling but it comes with 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 the hunting of you wanting to do it more often you know and also you know the the the, the tour the, the the touring part and the getting out part because that's the aspect where people now get to see you in, in full in full artifact you know so that's it for me. All right. So how does it feel like to be a Christian rapper? Uh, I think it's a it's a unique position, a uh, unique platform, especially for me. Uh, I, fi I find that because I'm a Christian rapper, I have a level of influence and I connect a lot with, with fellow creatives, like other artists that are not Christians, like 
they always want to talk. They always want to ask me questions. They always want to uh, find out, um, you know, what's it like to be a Christian and that kind of thing. Because first and foremost, they respect the fact that, you know, they respect the skill. And so they want to find out, like, why is he not rapping or talking about the stuff that we talk about in, in our music when he got just as much skill as we do, you know? And so, like, it's, it's a unique place to be in terms of uh, getting the message out to people that don't necessarily promote or spread that message in their music. So for a long time, I've really uh, gotten a chance to connect and really pick the minds of other creatives, other Guyanese creatives that don't, uh, you know, support Christianity or are trying to, to know Jesus, like, for them to just speak with me and me speak with them and so that we pick each other's minds and, and see what the root of the problem is. You know, being a Christian rapper has afforded me that opportunity. Uh, the influence is, is the, most, the most apparent thing for me. I have goals too. I want to one day make this thing uh, my only source of income. Like, hopefully, that's, hopefully things work out the way I want them to. Uh, but I'm always mindful of the fact that it's a platform that can be used to spread the message of Jesus Christ. And so, and so for me, while, while I'm, you know, take pride in the fact that, yo, I, I get a chance to, to rap and I get a chance to uh, go on shows and meet different people and, you know, all of these opportunities to really share my story and share my craft. Um, I'm always mindful of the fact that um, my success is not the end goal or the all in all, but the effective delivery of the message of Christ is really what it's all about. So regardless of the means and the ways and the methods and who likes me or who doesn't like me, for me, it's just to ensure that Christ is known whenever I touch a mic, whenever I engage with people, um, whenever the beat drops and I start spitting bars, like you must know that, yo, this man is a church by, or this man love Jesus. Like, like that, that's, that's all, man. I just want you to know, like, just know that Christ is in everything and for everybody. And you can get a piece of him too, if you want. That's very important. Thank you so much for your response. Two things that I always let people know about me is the Guyanese part, because I think I think I'm one of the most old Guyanese, because I don't ever shy away from the fact that I'm Guyanese. Uh, y'all lucky I don't have my flag with me right now. It's, it's upstairs, but if I had, I'll be waving my flag in this video, because I'm I'm proud of the country that I was born in. I'm, I'm really proud of that. And then the second thing is me being Christian. Those are the two things I'm the most proud of, because both aspect both aspect represent me. The Guyanese represent the culture, represent my foundation, represent my family, and also the Christianity represent my foundation and myself. So those are the two things that I'm I'm most proud of. I love the fact that I, that I, I could I could step in Guyana and be like, yo, this is my country right there. That's, that's my country. We'll be moving on to the fifth question for today. If someone was to hear your music that have never heard you before, what do you want that person to take away from your music? But um, <clears throat> the main thing is Christ, right? But I um I always try to hit um hit other gems in my music. Like for example, I did a song named Her, and and I wanted to uh, encourage women to look at themselves. Like I know my work, you know, and that is something that I've always prided myself on for as an artist, not just a Christian artist, but as an artist where I can actually address things. Of course, from the lens the lens of of Christ, because. Uh, moralism in itself is not good enough. You know, you need you need to implicate and involve the word of God so that the spirit of God could be in it and actually give life to it, you know. So, um, but me being a Christian and, and already, you know, the world knows, I try to, um, to put certain topics, you know, through the lens of Christ, I try to address them and try to relate to people. So, from my music based on whatever that concept might be coming from, I just hope that people would get the, the picture clear, you know, and my goal in every single song is for you to 
feel encouraged and 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 encounter something called hope. The the biggest thing that I like to give to people from my music or that I hope people would get from my music is the hope, you know, of Christ. Because uh, me, I've 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 battled with things like depression and um and just a feeling of uncertainty, and hope, you know, has helped me to combat those things and to feel a sense of of work, you know, and, and individuality. Because I, 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 as much as I'm a leader, or like the thing that I'm a leader, there were times that I wanted to fit in, you know, but I was never the type of person. So I tried to paint three things, but I, I got around it after three things. And that's hope. I try to always leave uh, a direction to Christ. And, and obviously, each song is going to have its own concept. So in her, I, I wanted to give women a sense of words. Uh, there's a song in intimacy that I did. I try to highlight intimacy with Christ. But, you know, whatever the concept might be, I just always pray and, and write with the intention that, you know, it's well delivered and, and that people could grasp the, the message with everything, you know. But, of course... The final thing and the most important thing is that if you're going to listen to a Christian artiste, you will have to know that by the time you're finished listening to that artiste, that you know you you don't want to be encouraged to continue living for Christ, or to be encouraged to live for Christ even more, or or to li start living for Christ. Yeah, that's that's what I'm supposed to say. It, you know, so uh, that's basically what I aim to do in each song. You know, I'm more of an album artist. So my entire album or EP that I try to do, right, I try to paint like an entire picture. So by the time you come from the beginning to the ending of that album or that, or that EP or whatever it might be, a project, you must feel encouraged, you must feel hope, and you must see Christ in it, you know, because that, that's what I base my entire life off of. And that's what I base my entire uh, musical career off of, you know. Yeah, so for me, um, Christ is foremost. That's the most important takeaway. Uh, I've always thought of my music as a bridge between uh, the secular world and the gospel. I think um, because of my background, because of how uh, I grew up and how I was churched and taught the word and taught to interpret the word and the biblical principles that, you know, Valen and I, we basically grew up together. Uh, the things that we were taught in church, like positions us to, to really, um, like we're able to, to talk to people that are deep in church, but because of the kind of music we do, uh, it's hip hop, it's, it's, it's popular, it's the kind of thing that most of the young people are listening to. Like we're also able to talk to the young people as well because they realize that we like the same music that they like. It's just that the message is, is totally different. So I always see my music as a bridge between um, unbelievers and believers. And w w the message that I want people to take away that, hey man, uh, being a Christian is not smoke and mirrors, it's not magic. Yes, it's a different lifestyle. Yes, it's really depending on God. Yes, it's really acting out in faith instead of things that you see with your, your eyes. But this is where you want to be on tough and dreary and rugged days when your only thought is maybe to uh, end it all. Like the thought of Christ, you know, him saying, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Him saying, cast all your cares upon me for I care for you. Like those are things that really take us through those bad days and just to let the world know that hey man christ is the source of everything that you need and so like it, it it's really popping over here like you you should come over here like we real over here like you know we on on the real stuff over here like it's, it's just to, to show unbelievers that uh being a christian is is not what you probably thought it was but it requires a certain level of sincerity and honesty and vulnerability that if you're willing to do that in the light of christ that you'll see how your life is going to be transformed and some of the things that really haunt you maybe your past maybe things that you have done 
maybe the current lifestyle that you're in, once you get with Christ, all of that could be fixed up, man. So really for me, it's just to let people know that, that there is room over here. You don't have to feel judged because, you know, you live a certain lifestyle. God is for everybody. Jesus is for everybody. And he wants you. He wants you to come and just give him a chance. Check him out. Try Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Try Jesus. Now we get into our live question for today, which is, what are some pieces of advice you have for upcoming Christian rappers? Well, for any Christian rapper, I would encourage them to, um, to be sure that this is something that they want to do and, and not to be like me. Um, but when I first started, uh, I, I had a lot of uh, battles with, with, with and as I told you before, I'm an overthinker. I had a lot of battles in my mind and I would be inconsistent, you know, and I've recently learned that inconsistency doesn't look good. You know, the people that listen to your music want to see progression, like always want to see progression. That's how they, they determine, well, oh, this man's serious. Yeah, that's not. Or I could, I could trust with this man saying. So any young Christian artist or rapper that coming up, be like, yo, stick to your craft, stick to the word of God, involve God, because I can't write songs without, without being led. It's hard for me to write songs without being led. The minute I start writing a song and I'm not led, I just know why this guy has something, put his pen back down. You know what I mean? So ensure that your relationship with God is, is, also, is also firm. You know, ensure that you're also ready um, mentally and spiritually for, for music. Because one of the things that you see a lot in America, and I know this because I've been hurt by it twice. You know what I mean? And it might sound a little soft or whatever, but I don't care, right? I'm just going to show it. Um, I had two favorite Christian artists that I liked a lot. The first one was a guy named Jehaziel, and the next one was a guy named John Gibbs. Both of them fell away, you know? And, and, and after John fell away, it was like, this is the last straw. Me get no more favorite artists. My favorite artist is Christ. You understand? This, that's something that I had to do because Imagine listening to somebody, you know, with full intent, like, yo, this guy understands me. Yeah, you collect the Christ in it, right? But nobody can tell me that um, they don't have a pastor that they prefer or they don't have a leader that they prefer, you know, that they believe personally relates to them. So it hurts you when you see these people fall off or, you know, double back. So... As a Christian artist coming up, you know, be firm on it. Don't be double-minded because you never know who's watching and who you could affect. You understand? So if you know for a fact that you might have doubts or you might be in a place where you don't, you don't know for sure, like you need to work on that before you start your music as well. For me, um, and the last thing, uh, that I would like to encourage them is that, you know, to be real with yourself um, and to be real from where you are with God, you know? Um, you, can't, you can't take somebody else's testimony uh, or, or take from other people's story and try to write it all the time, all the time. You can do it sometimes, but not all the time. You have to have your own experiences. You have to have your own story. That's when it fits better, you know, for me. Because a lot of my songs are in, in, in come to wrong love because love is something that, 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 that defines who I am. I, I am a very lovey, lovey person. Them guys would trouble me and tell me, when I listen to this album, all I hear is love. You know? <laughs> because that, that's me as an artist. So find yourself and be real from that, from that perspective of who you are in Christ, you know. So I hope so. So let me let me try to list it out. Ensure that you're firm. Ensure that you 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 write, being led uh, by the Spirit of God. Ensure that when you start, you remain consistent, and ensure that you write from a place of being real. So that's what I would tell any Christian artist or or rapper in particular. All right, for me, um, being a Christian, upcoming Christian rapper, the first thing I let you know is understand that you're a Christian rapper. 
understand that that means that Christ is central. And so your music should surround Christ, should surround biblical principles. Um, also be real, be, be yourself, be yourself, be yourself. I'll say it again, be yourself. I spent a long time when I started out just trying to be like the rappers that I, I heard about trying to be, uh, trying to recreate some of their stories and their testimonies and stuff that they went through, but it was never effective until I started telling my story, the way things happened to me, the way I experienced God for myself. Uh, that really makes the difference. That really makes it uh, authentic and genuine. I feel like if you're a Christian rapper, if you're an upcoming Christian rapper and you're not you know, putting your story into your music, you're going to come across the people as corny and weird. They're going to think that you're generic and they won't listen. They won't buy into it. We're trying to push Christ and because we're vessels, Corinthians says that we are vessels of clay that are made to show the, yeah. in essence, I'm not quoting the scripture back verbatim, but in essence, it's saying that because we're, we're, we're just mere vessels, but the goodness in us is of him. And you know how sometimes when you throw water in a cup, it can taste different from water in another cup. Then you get in the water, the living water, but that, that extra taste is you. That extra uh, way in which it's done, it's you. And if you, if you try to fake it, then you know, nobody's not going to want the water. Nobody's not going to want the living well. And so you got to ensure that you be yourself, be yourself, be yourself 150% of the time. Continually see God. Don't ever feel like you have, you've arrived. Like, yeah, I know enough. Like, yeah, me and, me and Jesus get a cool relationship. We good. Nah, nah, it don't work like that. The Bible continue, continually asks us to seek after God with our entire heart. Seek him, seek him, chase after him, go after him. The Bible says, you, you seek me. I'll show you great and mighty things, things that you've never seen, never heard of before. And so it's, it's just the journey of continually chasing after God, collecting that thing or knowing him more, and then delivering that through your music so that the people can see, uh, or the people can experience God more. The same way you grew in Christ, you know, they would want to see you grow in your music. And also you grow with your message. So I guess if I list it out, it's um, stay, stay true to the fact that you're a Christian rapper. Be yourself. Chase after God with everything and keep growing. Keep developing the craft. Keep going, 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 going. Keep adapting to new flows and new techniques. And uh, yeah, you're going to, yeah, there are going to be things that only you do a certain way, but don't shy away from uh, uh, evolving your sound and, you know, taking it to different places. Because as much as the music is important, the message is even more so. The music styles could change how much it wants, but the message, the message must remain the same. This is Christ. The message must remain the same. Y'all about to make me start preaching, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh <laughs> Ooh, I'm cracking myself up today. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was part two of the video where we're here answering questions, learning more about um the life of the Christian rapper, learning more about the struggles of all of that. Big shout out to all the Guyanese rappers, the Guyana itself. Shout out to all the gospel rappers. Shout out to everybody out there that doing your music, keep doing your thing. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming along in this video to be able to educate the people, to be able to tell your story. Their link will be in the description below. Check out Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Check out 1000. Check out their music. Just continue to um, listen to them. Uh, and I will continue to do their thing because their music is amazing. This is the end of the video, guys. If you haven't already, like, subscribe if you're new, and please turn on your post notification. This is Motivational Young Christian. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>